What's up, YouTube? This is Galactic God, and I'm coming at you now with another Dev Pro Duel. Uh, I've actually been feeling a little nostalgic for Agents lately, so I decided to rebuild the deck. Uh, I actually rebuilt it in real life first. Ugh, this hand uh, is not the most optimal <laughs> uh, starting hand that there could be. Although I do have Effect Veiler and Herald, so that's pretty cool. Uh, drawing Christia this early, though, with uh, no other uh, <laughs> Agent monsters kind of sucks. Anyhow, as I was saying, I uh, built this deck again in real life, and I've been uh, playing against a lot of my friends and been doing pretty well with this, so I thought I'd test my luck up here on Dev Pro. And of course, you know, I normally draw pretty decent hands in real life, and then, you know, first one out the gate here on Dev Pro, I draw a mediocre. Ugh, oh, looks like Dragon Rulers. Oh, wait. I think I saw an Lankian monster hit the grave. Let me see here. Yeah, Dragoons. Wow, okay, so I'm playing against Mermails, obviously. Uh, I haven't played against Mermails too much lately. Not too many people, you know, around me are playing in them, and I haven't dueled against them too much up here on DevPro either, so this should be pretty interesting. Um, actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and negate this, because uh, Dragoons is limited to one, and so they're only going to get that effect that one time, and if I stop it, I feel like I'm in a pretty good position, because that's probably, like, a key play they were trying to do. So I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, dang it. This guy. Well, I could affect Baylor and stop him from special summoning. Or I could throw down a max C, but I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, with Dragoons limited to one, he can't special summon another Dragoons that hit me for a ton of life points. So I'm not really worried about taking a massive amount of damage. Um, let's see here. Nope. 14 and really I think the the only card that he you know well I mean he could be playing you know something weird in his deck uh, but I have a feeling the only card that you know he has at his you know disposal to bring out is gonna be uh, infantry so and there it is so it's gonna end his main features and I have end his turn all right so let's start off all right uh, Venus perfect uh, this is just the agent I was looking for Hopefully now I can build up a little bit of momentum. Someone else in the shine. Effect Veiler. Wow, I think he kind of jumped the gun a little bit with that Veiler, though. I think I would have definitely waited, uh, you know, for me to at least try and use the effect and pay the 500, but uh, I guess he didn't even want to give me that option. So I'm going to go ahead and kill that Marksman. Um, and I guess I'm just going to go ahead and set Lance and then in turn see what he goes for now. He's only got two cards in hand, although three cards now, technically. And then he's got the title in the grave. So he's definitely got some options. If he tries to go to ham, oh, it looks like he's got, man. And he does got the Megalo. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate uh, Maxi at this point. Uh, so I figure I'm gonna get at least a couple cards out of this now. All right, there's my one up. Well, that's not bad, so at least when he um, uh, destroys my uh, my Venus now. I'll have fodder in the graveyard for uh, Hyperion. So let's see. He's got his uh, got his Abyss Spear, and he's gonna special summon out. Yeah, lead makes sense. Right, now I assume he's probably just gonna attack at this point. He could like <laughs> uh, pound off infantry, destroy my monster. Uh, I think he almost has enough really for game. I do have, I can effect Baylor when he tries to do it, so he can't do it. Oh, dang. He's going, he's going all in. He's like, he has no fear of my agents. <laughs> see, what's he, what is his plan now? All right, I'll draw, I'll draw more cards. That's, that's for sure. I do not mind drawing cards. <laughs> he's gonna take that maxi challenge. <laughs> oh, he's going for Draco Sack too. Crazy. That's six cards in my hand now. The only card he has in his hand is that. That's fair. He's gonna bring out the tokens. I'm gonna get another card out of this. That's pretty awesome. Right. <laughs> cool. Let's see, I'm gonna use the effect. Oh no, target the back row. All right, cool. I'm just gonna go ahead and reduce this monster's attack. So there's no, no reason to even waste the Veiler. 
Uh, monster is only at 16. He can tribute off the infantry though to attack twice and kill my monster. And in the main phase, he's not gonna tribute. What's he doing? He's just ending his turn. He feels pretty confident back there with the. The only thing about this scenario now is that I've got a ton of cards that he has no idea what they are, and I know every card on his field. So that back row is Spear, and you know, he's got, this, this is not too, I just gotta plan this out right, and I should be able to get around all of this. All right, so, let me think for a second. Um, obviously gonna have to use Venus's effect here to get my Shine Balls out. And, uh, I want to get, let me bring him out first. Ultimately, I want to get Christia out, because Christia is a card that Mermels definitely do not like to see. <laughs> Alright, so let's get a Shine Ball out, and eh, just bring him attack mode. It doesn't even matter. Alright, and, let me see, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, What is? I have two fairies in the graveyard. Okay. And I just need to get two more in there. Right, so let me go ahead and uh, activate Ven uh, Venus's effect once again, so I can get the other shine ball out of my hand. Kind of sucks that I drew into that one, but I guess it could have been worse. I could have drawn into both of the shine balls. Um, so not too bad. Now I think what I want to do here is I think I want to just go ahead and summon Valor. And then I'm gonna synchro summon. Alright, see. Now I can bring. I'm go for. Oh! More days. Not bad, not bad. I could go for a level 8 as well, but I don't really see the need for that. Let's see. Now I should be able to. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> not Chrissy yet. I need to bring out Hyperion first. <laughs> don't wanna make that mistake. Because then I will not be able to bring out Hyperion. <laughs> All right, so let's get Hyperion out there. Let's see if you activate Sphere yet. No? Oh, you're gonna wish you had now, buddy. Because now you can't even chain. Because <laughs> uh, the effect is continuous. All right, so I'm obviously gonna grab um, Harold back. I'm gonna need a Shine Ball back in my hand. Oh, you got a sad face now. <laughs> I would too if I was in his position. All right, so. Let's see, which one should I destroy with, with Hyperion? Go ahead and use his effect. And I can get rid of the token or heavy of tree. Um, I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm gonna leave the two that are in attack position there, obviously. Uh, so I can get a little bit of damage in. And, uh, Cause he can't activate sphere, so it doesn't really even matter. So let me go ahead and get rid of this token. Oh, it's gonna ask me that like every time for Lance right now. <laughs> That's the one thing I don't like uh, when you're holding Lance in your hand or something. It's gonna ask you over and over and over again on Death Pro. You know, would you like to activate Lance when you attack? Now that you're in the damage step, would you like to activate Lance? And I'm like, no, I don't want to activate that. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. So, dang, so now I've essentially cleared out all his field. All he's got is that sphere that he can't activate unless he gets rid of Christia. So that's really going to haunt him right now. Next turn, um, if he gets a monster out, I can just destroy it with Hyperion. If he gets some kind of back row, I can destroy that with Hyperion. Uh, the only thing that would be really good for him would be like top decking a Dark Hole, or uh, even Compulse would probably not be that bad, because at least Compulse, you can get rid of Christia and then activate the Sphere. Um, then he just gets a back row. I wonder if that is Compulse. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Go ahead and activate. And let's see what this face down is. And MST. Well, that doesn't even really matter, actually. Um, he can destroy my Lance. Uh, it just means it's not going to keep asking me if I want to activate it during the damage step. And I believe. I actually have enough damage on board uh, for game. I don't think there's nothing he can do too. Um, can I, he cannot activate that sphere because of Christia. Dang, Christia is just too good. Uh, he's saying GG. So I guess that's pretty much going to do it. It looks like even though I started off with a little bit of a rocky hand, 
uh, agents were actually managed to, to pull through. All right then, so I'm gonna continue testing agents up here on DevPro for a little while longer. Uh, remember to let me know what you think of them down in the comment section below. Do you think they hold any merit still in this current format? Uh, Dragon Rulers aside, uh, nothing can really keep up with the speed of that, but if Dragon Rulers were not a thing, and uh, just all the other decks were what you had to, you know, keep up with. Do you think agents could still hold their own against that? Or are they just a little too dated at this point? And I guess that's it for now. This is Galactic God, out.